Um, hello, uh, my name is Jenna Lawhorn. The adaptation that I'm going to be doing to one of my lesson plans is for a kindergarten math lesson. Um, this is a shorter or longer lesson, so they are learning about length. Uh, to start off our lesson, I want to give students um, either a handout or a visual representation of some of the vocabulary or pictures that we had recently gone over on previous days. Um, leading up to this activity, students will um, have started to learn the concept of shorter and longer, but not completely have mastered it yet. So this is a lesson where the children are really going to show their understanding of what shorter and longer is. And so to ensure that these students are successful, um, they're going to be given a handout that shows what shorter and longer means and give them kind of examples and kind of pictures. Um, really, I'd like to make a smaller version of the anchor chart that we'll be using on pre on previous days to um, introduce the lesson. Uh, this will just give the students an opportunity to be able to see it at their desk without having to go searching for it around the room and um, either getting distracted or not being able to find it and getting frustrated. So this will really give them a chance to be able to look at their their handout, their version of it, and be able to understand it. Ideally, I would love for the students to be able to interact with it. So whether they've filled it in somehow within a small group, or they've done some coloring, or they uh, physically have put something on that handout themselves, so it's theirs and not just something that um, has been copied and, copied and pasted. I want them to really interact with the handout that they're given and to be able to use it as a resource and not just a copy it and throw it on a piece of paper kind of thing. Um, our next adaptation will be the song that the students will be listening to. Um, this is something that I would also like to introduce them a couple of days ahead of time. Um, these students will be exposed to this song during small group. There's a lot of singing, a lot of dancing, a lot of movement and a lot of colors in this song. And so to really help these students understand the words. I want them to have the chance to be able to hear and see the song and see past just the sound and the pictures that are moving and everything that's going on to be able to get past that, um, that sensory. Um, I don't want them to be overstimulated when they see it for the first time with their classmates. So pre-exposing them to this or exposing them to this song before everyone else, it'll really give them a chance to be able to focus on the words and to really understand the concept of shorter and longer. Um, the next adaptation that we have is going to be um, our kind of our engagement, our kind of warm up um, for the activity. The students will have uh, cube trains that are put on a smart board or on the ladybug so that the students can see it. Um, the adaptation for these students, they'll actually get a physical uh, manipulative for them to hold. So if I put five cube trains and one line and three, or five cubes and one cube train and three and another cube train, I want these students to be able to physically hold them and to be able to actually count them, to use them as a manipulative, whereas the rest of the class will just visually see them on the screen and they'll be able to point and count to them. But I really want these students to be able to hold the thing that we're doing and to be able to physically touch and count each cube as we're doing it on the board. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next adaptation, which is, um, I'm going to give all of the students a baggie that has matching colors in them. They're gonna distinguish which is shorter and which is longer according to length. Um, for this adaptation, I would really like to give these students one color at a time so they're not fumbling with the bag, so we're not searching for a certain color, um, so we're not matching up the wrong colors, but this will really have them focus on what shorter and longer means and not the process of doing all these other things to get to the actual act. Activity. So they'll be given um, the pink first, and then once they're done with pink, they'll be given the blue, and once they're done with the blue, they'll be given the orange, and this will um, also give me a chance to be able to come and check up on them consistently and be able to see exactly what they're doing before they move on to the next set of colors. Um, and then our next adaptation is that um, as long as students are showing expectations, I don't 
expect them to do all five colors. If they only want to do two colors, if they only want to do three colors out of the five, as long as they're showing their understanding, I don't mind if we change the size of the, the activity. As long as they can show me that they know what shorter and longer is and that I can see that they're really understanding the concept, I really and truly don't mind if they do a shortened version of the activity. Um, we, I also put another adaptation that has to do with um, going back to the student and checking and that we're gonna be doing that a lot with the colors and being able to take each color back to them. It'll give me the opportunity to see exactly what we're doing, how we're doing it. Um, we can correct anything if we need to in that moment before moving on to the next color. And then finally, our last adaptation is our time. Um, I really want students to be able to take their time on this. Uh, we will have math centers right after this. So to ensure that the students don't feel rushed or don't feel that they have to um, not take their time or not feel like they're understanding, I want them to have that time during centers to be able to complete the activity. I also would like to pull their small group first um, to double check, to make sure that we're understanding, to really look and see that they're understanding the concept of shorter and longer and what it means for something to be shorter and what it means for something to be longer. So I wanna have that open discussion with them where we can look and see things around our classroom and be able to compare them. So we're really gonna drive home that concept of shorter and longer and what those vocabulary words mean and how we can take those and apply it to our everyday life. So by having this small group, if they, are, if they do need time, uh, we'll be able to have that small group. We'll be able to kind of like break down what the lesson was, how we felt about it. We can have an open discussion on what these terms mean and really show their understanding of the activity and of the lesson that we had just previously had. Um, so again, this is a adaptation lesson plan for shorter and longer in a kindergarten classroom when they are learning about length. So, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching.